new Apathetic Weekend Update. I'm your host, guy who has a theory speeding tickets go away if you ignore them long enough. Our top story tonight, a man died after being crushed by a World War II tank on Jelly Belly Chairman Herman Rowland's property this week. Disclaimer, yes, this is a real thing that happened. Officially putting Jelly Belly in the running for probably most evil candy company. Of course, they have a lot of catching up to do if they want to pass frontrunner Nestle, who this week bought 27 million gallons of water from drought-stricken California for $524 in order to sell back to them, and who also once convinced African mothers to buy their formula instead of breastfeeding, leading to the deaths of thousands of toddlers. Disclaimer, yes, this is a real thing that happened. And trailing Nestle in evilness is Nazi nougat bars. You won't believe what's inside. Big announcement from Eminem. The, <clears throat> the, uh, no, the homophobic one. There we go. Hey, they only ever show a heteronormal on-screen relationship between red and green, Eminem. Just saying. <clears throat> Big announcement from Eminem. This fall, they plan to introduce a pumpkin spice latte flavor of their popular candy. In related news, hoping not to lose the basic bitch demographic, Skittles announced its new flavor, Scented Candle Horoscope. And Reese's Pieces revealed its contender, Selfie Edition Reese's Pieces, where you take a lot for yourself and maybe share one with others. So basically regular Reese's Pieces. Whatever happened to flash mobs? This week, the Oxford English Dictionary made room for the words awesome sauce and butt hurt. Presumably by removing the words classy and dignity. And wouldn't it be crazy if like a flash mob just came in like right now? No, no I'm kidding. You need, uh, you need friends. Moving on, on Thursday, predestined by name to be Olympic athlete Usain Bolt was taken out by a cameraman on a Segway after his race. In what was likely the worst PR incident for Segway since its inventor was killed by one and Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. 103 million though. Kevin James isn't drinking Dr. Pib, that's for sure. This week, YouTube released its own Twitch-like platform for watching people play video games, YouTube Gaming. In related news, Try Hard Comedians Everywhere released their jokes about, oh, what's next? Watching people watch people play video games? And in other related news, overbearing social media cynics released their opinions on the originality of those jokes and how overplayed the inception angle is. Moving on to the next topic, my commentary on what CNN said about what MSNBC said about Fox News. In recent weeks, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, a dense and complicated subject matter, has come up several times in the media. So joining us to dissect and discuss it a little further, the winner of Canada's smartest person and childhood friend of mine, Brandon Lauer. Brandon? Brayden Lauer. Sorry, what? It's Brayden Lauer. We grew up together. Ugh, we get it. You're smarter. Eh. Okay, Brandon. Brayden. As you know, there's been a lot of controversy mm -hmm. surrounding right. the incredibly complicated yeah. Trans-Pacific Partnership yeah. and its effect mm -hmm. on international right. trade. This week, yeah. Canada decided not to sign the agreement. So my question to you is, do you think Miley Cyrus will twerk tonight at the MTV Video Awards? What? Don't you want to hear about the Trans-Pacific Partnership? Nope, the Miley Cyrus thing. I've actually done like a lot of in-depth research. Brandon? Brayden. Are you saying you're stumped? No, I... No. Hey, I, at this point, I think your team knows that the trend is pretty well played out. Canada's smartest person, everybody. <laughs> This week, the ocean's oldest note in a bottle was scooped out of the North Sea after 108 years of floating. Surprisingly, more people were interested in what the note had to say than this crazy, indestructible ocean bottle. You know what the note probably said? Don't christen a boat with this bottle. In sexier slash morbid news, a couple in France plummeted 40 feet to their death after having sex on a castle. Quick PSA to our audience out there. Having sex on a castle is one of the dumbest things you can do. No matter, no matter how unbelievable the orgasms are rumored to be. 
it's not worth the risk. Even though those who have done it say it's totally worth the risk. And, and that the stone and the cool breeze and the scent of moss add up to an earth-shattering climax. To quote them. It's, you just gotta think about your family and friends finding you, right? Not, not how sweet it would be to get away with it. Ah. <sighs> Sorry, these, uh, these KFC coupons expire in like two days. French Castle Tours and Google. And that's it for your apathetic weekend update. Uh, if you want me to keep making these videos, even if it's just because they make you feel comparatively better about your own life from week to week, uh, please like, comment below, share, maybe even subscribe. Uh, yeah, I've been your host, guy whose heart rate is highest while waiting for the approved message on an ATM transaction. Good night. Yeah, uh, one more thing right before we go. On Wednesday morning, cameraman and reporter slash two allegedly super cool people, Allison Parker and Adam Ward, were shot to death by a mentally ill man while doing a serious version of the thing I do. So in the YouTube description, I left a link to the most reputable charity that deals with mental illness. And so if you feel like it, if not, whatever. Everyone has their cause, right? If, uh, if we all had the same cause, we'd only solve one problem. It'd probably be something silly like uh, like guacamole shouldn't cost extra. I'll wait while you all finish nodding your heads. Uh, yeah. Good night.